Hello and welcome back to Mark's House and Garden UK. I'm converting that garage behind me into guest accommodation. There's going to be an office, a bedroom and a bathroom. And for the bathroom, I have to connect the toilet to the existing septic tank. And that's where all these pipes come in. Now these pipes have got to be buried in a trench underground, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to demonstrate above the ground but what you can imagine happening here, you can imagine happening underground. Now then, I have to get an appropriate level of fall on these pipes. Fall means the gradient or the slope. And that's logical because it's gravity which will help the waste flow from one end down to the septic tank at the other. Now, my building regs person has told me that I need at least a 1 in 80 fall which means that for every 80 centimetres it goes in the horizontal direction, it has to drop by one centimetre in the vertical direction. And that doesn't sound a lot, but actually that is enough for the gravity to wash the water and the waste down this pipe. Now, in some situations, you might need a 1 in 40 or a 1 in 60. I'm going to talk about that in a moment, but it does depend on how many dwellings you've got, how many toilets you've got, how many people are using this pipe that the waste is flowing through. But come back to that in a moment. I've got a bit of a problem. Now, what you have to bear in mind is I'm an amateur, never done this before, but I'm getting lots of help from my building regs person and she will be signing this off. So it's got to be done to regulation. How do I get a fall on a pipe? underground right it's an interesting problem and in this video i'm going to demonstrate how i've solved that problem now i'm a very practical person and i find theory a little bit boring but sometimes you've got to get involved in theory now my run of pipes goes from one end here and it's approximately 10 meters all the way up to the other end here this is the end where the toilet will be and I have an inspection chamber. Now that inspection chamber is approximately six meters from the far end and four meters from the other end. And I've got to try and get a constant fall of at least one in 80. Now I am going to go slightly steeper than that because I don't want to risk any blockages. So I'm just going to, I'm probably going to go for one in 60. Uh, but as long as I get one in 80 and I can show that to the building regs person, I know I've met regulations. So the fact still remains, I still need to work out how I am going to get one in 60 fall on this pipe. I was talking about theory a moment ago. I've done a few calculations on a piece of paper to demonstrate and help to explain how you calculate the fall that you need. Now these pipes here that you see, the plastic pipes, and I've bought them in standard three meter strips. You can also buy them in six meter. And whatever length you buy, you can cut it anyway. But I'm just going to use a three meter length to demonstrate some calculations for you. So here are three examples of a calculation which I've carried out. And all these measurements are in centimeters. So 300 centimeters is actually a three meter strip. And if I need an 80, one in 84, so if I just put one in 80, if I need a one in 80, I divide 300 by 80 and that gives me 3.75 centimeters so if i need one in 60 i divide 300 by 60 and that tells me that for every three meters in the horizontal direction it has to drop by five centimeters that's quite an easy calculation really because 300 is easily divisible by 60 and 300 divided by 40, so this would be for you, one in 40, comes out at 7.5. So for every three meters in that direction, you have to drop by 7.5. And interestingly, one in 40 and one in 80, you can see there, that figure, 7.5, is double that figure. So this one here is twice as steep as this one, which is interesting really, because it's counterintuitive. The smaller the number here, the steeper the drop. So mine is quite a shallow drop, but because I'm opting for one in 60, I'm going to go down by five centimeters for every three meters I go along. My total length 
is 10 meters, which consists of a six meter piece and a four meter piece. So how do I work out what my fall is between that inspection chamber, the middle inspection chamber and the end inspection chamber? Let me show you. So I have a total distance of 10 meters. If I times that by 100, it's a thousand centimeters. If I divide that by 60, it tells me that the total fall over those 10 meters for a one in 60 needs to be 16.66 centimeters. So around about 17 centimeters. I've got a six meter piece, an inspection chamber, and then a four meter piece. So for the six meter piece, if I divide 600 by 60, it tells me that the fall between here and here has to be 10 centimeters. And then the remaining four meters is 400 centimeters. If I divide that by 60, it tells me that I have to have a fall of 6.6 .6 centimeters over this bit. And a sense check here is if I add that one to that one, it gives me the total. Now I could do this at any point on the, the complete distance, the complete length, and work out this calculation. And this is the theory here, which I am going to use now to demonstrate how I get the fall on my pipe. Now, I know I'm repeating myself again, but you have to imagine that this is happening in a trench. And the first bit I would do before I put the pipes in, but the pipes are already there, so I'll leave them there. I'm just going to put my tape measure on the floor here between point A, which is the end, and point B, which is the other end. And that is six meters. So I know that if that is six meters, it's got to drop by 10 centimeters by the time it reaches there. How do I do that? Well, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to put a stake in here. And again, imagine this is down a trench. Now these are just pieces of black wood, <laughs> which are black for a reason, because I would suggest you do the next bit in low light or even dusk and put another stake here. Six meters. Now I know that halfway along is three meters. So I'm going to put another stake in after three meters, which is exactly here. And I have three stakes in a trench, which will be next to the garage. I've already dug it actually. And now I need to use those to get a level. Right, I have a laser. This is my laser. These are not expensive. I think I spent about 20 pounds on this one. And I've got a ladder behind the camera, which I'll now go and get. And I shall put it here. Now, don't worry where you put this laser for now. I am just going to put it on this ladder and point it in the direction of these three stakes. Now, this is why it's a good idea to do this in low light. That laser is now giving me a horizontal line on each of these three stakes. And I can see that line because it's black. If I lower it down a little bit, it goes down further, obviously. Now, what I can do using that laser line is put a mark on each one of these stakes. And that gives me a perfectly horizontal line. And I know then that I've got to go from this line here to that line down by, what was it? Five centimeters. And then from that line to the next one, which is three meters, another five, so 10. So the drop from the top to, the, to this one will be 10. And the drop from the top to the middle one will be five. And the drop from the middle one to the end one will be five. I hope you're following this. I'm going to put a little bit of tape on these where the line is. And then what we'll do is we'll measure down. And I know the fall that I need. 
So I'll measure down five centimeters on the center one and 10 centimeters on this one. And that will give me my fall. How do I then set the pipe to that? Well, this pipe will be in a trench and it will be buried in P shingle. And so you can adjust it in the P shingle so that you get the appropriate fall. And I will put a spirit level from the horizontal line here to the top of the pipe. And that will ensure that I'm getting a fall. Now there are people who would do this differently. They'd take a different approach. You can do it using a taut string. You can put a string along. I'm using a laser level. And you can also get long spirit levels, or six foot long, and you can put them on and that will give you a good idea of the fall as well. This is the approach I'm going to take in my trench using a laser level and stakes. And don't forget, if that stake is three meters from that one and you need a one in 60, you divide 300 by 60. 300 divided by 60 is a five centimeter fall. So if I mark down from the level by five centimeters, that's how I'm going to do it. Does that make sense? I hope it does. I may have overcomplicated, but for me, this is my logical way of getting a one in 60 fall on my soil pipe in my trench. Of course, you will be able to see me doing this in real life in the next few weeks because the trench is dug and I'm about to put these in situ. I'll see you soon for some more soil pipe adventures. Bye for now.